Hello, this is William from Visual Components. In this video, I'm going to show you how to take measurements in the 3D world. Before we get started, it may be helpful to know where is the 3D world origin. So I'll click the File tab to go backstage, click Options, click Display, and select the checkbox here for World Origin Frame. I'll now click OK, and here's the 3D world origin. Let's now add some components and take some measurements. So I'll go to the eCatalog panel, and under Models by Type, I'll click Basic Shapes, and add a block geo to the 3D world. I'll now go to the Tools group, click Measure, and notice this command has its own task pane. So this first section shows you how to use the tool. So you select two points, and there are different modes for measurement. So you can measure the distance between two points, the angle between two points, or both the distance and angle. You also have some settings. So you can show the x, y, and z coordinate axis values for your measurement while you're taking it. And you also have a section for snap type, and this defines what you actually can select for your measurements. So right now I'm using edge and face. So let's actually select this top corner point here of the cube and the bottom corner point here. Now notice while I'm taking the measurement, I get feedback about those x, y, and z axis values. So if you don't want to see those, just go back here to settings and clear this checkbox. But I do want to see them. So let's actually select that bottom corner point there. And we can see we get the results in these boxes. So this is the y-axis value, the z-axis value, the x-axis value. And this box here gives me the total distance between those two points. So it's about 692. And in case you exit out of this command, you know the results of your measurement are printed here in the output panel. So you can see the length and those x, y, and z coordinates. Now, right now I'm using a world coordinate system. So these are actually absolute values. And you can see the 3D world origin this is not the positive direction for these axes. So if you want to see those negative values, go to Settings and select Parent. So this will use the parent coordinate system of the first selection point. So it's the cube's parent coordinate system, which is the 3D world. And that's why we have these negative along the x-axis, the y, and the z, because we went from top to bottom. But notice our total distance is still giving us the absolute value. Now, if you want to use the same measurement and also get the angle, you can go to Mode here. Just click Angle, and it gives you the angle. And notice we have a question mark here. I'll set this to be Distance and Angle, and it gives me that result of that same measurement. Let's now talk a little bit more about these snap types. So you probably have some questions there. I'll select Edge here. This allows me to select the corner points and the midpoints and any point along an edge. So I can select this edge right here and this edge right here. And notice I get that total distance between that edge. It's about 400 millimeters. There we go. Face, this allows you to select a point on a face, so I can select that point on this top face and this point here. And we notice there's a total distance. So it only gave me an X and a Y coordinate value, but not a Z. With edge and face, like I showed you earlier, I can select a corner point here and also the center point of this face here. There we go. For free point, this is a bit interesting. This allows you to select a free point in the 3D world as long as it's an edge or face, so I can select that midpoint, or I'm sorry, this point along this edge and a point along this edge, like so. Origin, this allows you to select the origin of nodes in the 3D world. So I have this cube here and it only has one node, so I'm actually selecting the component origin here. So let's actually get a bit crazy and add some more components. So I will exit out of the measure tool, go back to my eCatalog panel, and under Models by Type I'll expand Robots. And let's actually take a look at the visual components robots. Add a generic articulative robot to the 3D world. There we go. And let's actually add a tire. So I'll go to products and containers. And I'll do a quick search for a tire. And I'll use that UK English. So car tire. There we go. I'll now go back to the measure tool. So in the tools group, click measure. And I'm still using that origin snap type. So notice I can select the origin of nodes, the origin of this node here, to the origin of this node here, the origin of this node here, to the origin of this component as well. Let's now use the snap type of bound box. This is very similar to what I showed you earlier. So if I go back to the measure tool, you can select the corner points of a bound box encompassing a node. So this block only has one node. So I'm basically taking that same measurement I did in the beginning of the video. Likewise, for the car tire, it only has one node. And when I need to select one of those top or bottom corner points, you don't have to pick the actual point. You can kind of hover near it and then click. And there we go. So I measured from the top corner point here to the bottom corner point here in this bound box. Now, this gets a bit more tricky when you're measuring from the robots. So let's zoom out a bit. 
and select the bottom corner point here to the top corner point there. There we go. Now let's talk a little bit more about these two settings here, parent and objects. This probably makes a bit more sense when you're working with a robot, not this cube here, so I will delete it. And let's select our car tire and move it over here. So now let's measure from the robot to the car tire. So I'll go back to the tools group, click measure, and using the parent corn system, notice what happens here. So I'll use an edge and face snap type, measure from that point to this point. And notice our results. We get a positive x-axis value, a negative y-axis value, and a positive z-axis. And notice the orientation of those axes. So the x is going this direction, the y is going this way, and the z is actually going this way. And notice here is the 3D world origin, so its x-axis is pointing that way. So what's happening here is that this first point I selected in the robot, it's using this node's coordinate system, its parent and that's why it looks like this. So let's actually close out of this and go to the modeling tab. If you don't have access to the modeling tab, it's no problem. I'm just going to give you this example real quick. So we measured from this node in the robot. So let's actually expand it out. There we go. And it's probably from the mount plate. And if I change its link properties to use the object coordinate system, you can see the direction of the X. So the x-axis is pointing down, the y is going this way, and the z is going that way. So if I take the measurement again from this point to the car tire, you can see that's why the x-axis is going this way, the y is that way, and the z is this way. Let's now use the object. We can see that the measurement is still sort of the same because if I select axis 6 now, this was the parent coordinate system that the mount plate used, and notice its x and y and z direction are still the same as the mount plate. Let's actually get tricky. Let's see axis 5 is still going in that same way, and so is axis 2 is a little bit different, so let's measure from there. So measure from here all the way to there, and notice our x direction is going that way, so it's positive. Our y axis, the positive direction is going this way, so that's why we get a negative y axis here. And the z-axis is pointing up, but notice that our measurement is going down, so that's why we get a negative value for the z-axis. And when taking the measurement, notice I'm using distance and angle as my measurement mode, so I get both the total distance and the angle between those two points. So let's quickly review the measurement tool. I'll go to the Tools group, click Measure, and notice this first section gives you the instructions, so you're measuring the distance or angle between two points. And based on your settings mode here, you either get absolute values, or using the parent coordinate system of your first selection point or the object coordinate system of that first selection point. The snap types here allows you to select different types of points in the 3D world. So you can select edges, faces, a free point along an edge or face, the origin of a node, or the corner points of a bound box encompassing a node. And for your measurement mode, you can select either the distance, the angle, or both. And the results of your measurement, you can't show them in the 3D world, and the results are printed in the output panel. All right, this concludes the video. If you have any more questions, please feel free to visit our forum at forum.visualcomponents.com, and I hope you have a wonderful day.